If you want to walk alone, it's very easy. If you want to take people with you, then it takes a considerable amount of effort. When Gautama was asked this question, is it better to walk alone on the path or with a companion? He said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. He's not saying don't walk with anybody, he's not saying don't have companions, but he said it's better to walk alone than walk with a fool because they can drain you, they can take such a lot of energy. I won't say what Gautama said, all I am saying is, it doesn't matter how you walk, as far as your spiritual process is concerned, anyway you're alone. Nobody is with you. It's only the bodily process, the material process of life, which you can share with people. You come alone and you go alone, isn't it? Even if you have a twin brother or a twin sister, you still come alone and go alone, isn't it so? So when it comes to the spirit, anyway you walk alone, so don't mix that up. So that part of it you handle well, the material part of it according to your capability, to what extent you can do it, you do it. They come your way, it's wonderful. If they don't, it's all right, don't grudge them. It's just that you don't have to go that way. Maybe someday when the doctor tells you your liver is in a bad state, he may seek divine, you know. Have you seen people who are walking in the morning? Not everybody, there are certain type of people, these are all over fifty, fifty-five age group people. They have become lean and they're walking briskly every day, religiously they are there. These are all people who generally had a cardiac problem. They almost died. <laughs> then their doctor told them, either you do this or you're gone. Now their walking is like a religion, not Sunday morning, every morning. Have you seen those people? Suddenly they transform, they eat properly, they do everything properly because the fear of life and death has come. So different people need different kinds of impetus. If you are sensible, you learn by just looking. If you are not sensible, you learn by thrashing. Life will thrash you. The material part of your life is never hundred percent proper, never can be. Isn't it so? Is there any family which is a perfect family? Is there any relationship which is a perfect relationship? Is there any business which is a perfect business? Is there any career which is a perfect career? There is no such thing, don't seek that. Your life will become wasteful and fanciful if you seek such things. They all happen to the extent you're capable of handling them, that's all.